Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. So this time it is for Scream 6. Uh, so I, I said this during the trailer reaction. I've not seen the first four movies. So the fifth one was my first one. Uh, you know, so I can't really compare this one to how, like, how it could be compared to the first four. So I thought the fifth one was all right. You know, it was okay. But I saw that a lot of people didn't like it because uh, I didn't even know about it. So I, I saw, like, the comments and stuff of Scream 6, and a lot of people apparently didn't like the fifth one. So I'm assuming these are all people that used to watch the originals. So, you know, I never saw it, so I don't know how to, you know, feel about Scream 5 as someone who has seen the first four since i never seen it. So who knows? Maybe, you know, I have, maybe if I see the first four and then I watch the fifth one again, maybe I would not like it because, you know, how it is nowadays where if you're like a fan of the original stuff and then you watch something we made today uh you most likely will not like it because probably it's not as you know as good as the previous one or you know like yeah so scream six uh, i just watched it um uh I, I don't know what to say about this like it was not terrible or bad and also this is this is gonna contain some spoilers uh so if you don't want any kind of spoilers you want everything to be surprised then don't watch this so um the only good part about this movie was the ones that was involving the killer anything that has something to do with the killer not just you know like when he appears anything like investigative stuff involving finding the killer only those stuff was good for me. Everything else just was like, like, you know, it didn't really make me care that much, but may, may, maybe that's just me, you know, maybe some people would care, but those scenes just didn't really do nothing for me. And there were like a lot of stuff that did not make sense at all. <laughs> so I liked a lot about what they did with the killer. Like they, when they started off too, I thought that guy was going to be the killer and I thought they were going to take a different approach in this movie because they literally revealed who the killer was in the start of the movie. So I thought, okay, this guy's going to be the killer. So, you know, I, I don't know, maybe they've done it before in the first four. I'm not sure. So maybe they have, but I don't know. So I thought this was going to be the killer for the rest of the movie. You know, they literally unmasked him in like five minutes. So she, I, she kills this uh, woman, uh, with, it's, it's the same actress who uh, was in uh, Ready or Not, you know, the bride. So they literally casted her to be killed in the first five minutes. <laughs> so, you know, they literally unmasked him. And then, you know, um, he knows Tara and Sam. So I thought, all right, this dude is going to be the killer for the rest of the movie. And I thought this could be a movie where they're going to show in perspective of the killer, like what he does when he's not killing and stuff. But apparently not. Later on, he, he gets killed off. So he's not the actual killer. He gets killed by the killer of, you know, for the rest of the movie. So even the the stuff that they did with the killer, like how they uh, revealed it, uh, I actually kind of liked it because I didn't really guess it at all. Like, and also um, a particular character from the fifth movie has a lot to do with this uh, with this movie as well. I'm not going to tell you which one, and I don't think like I could have guessed it at all that this person might have in some kind of connection to this movie. Like I'm like okay, uh, they only revealed it towards the end, and I was like okay, this all makes sense. Um, so only the stuff that it was involving the killer was interesting. Everything else just did not make me care at all. They did, you know, they attempted some emotional stuff like which just you know like again didn't really make me care enough. They tried a love angle between Tara and Chad, which did not work. <laughs> also, yeah, speaking of Tara, man, I don't know why they keep making her, like, superhuman. Like, she was really superhuman in this movie. So, the last movie did not make sense uh, about her character because she literally got stabbed that many times. Her leg was broken, but then literally a few days later, she was walking. Like, like how? How? <laughs> And then in this movie, what I liked is Ghostface was like OP. So like whenever he gets a hold of somebody, he you know, the ghost face for the rest of the movie, not the, the beginning one. Whenever he gets a hold of somebody, he stabs them or, you know, like literally cuts them or whatever. But when like Tara is somehow so immune to um to Ghostface, when Ghostface literally grabbed her from behind, she did like a back elbow to Ghostface and then just pushed him away and ran. Yo, Ghostface in this movie was literally quick enough to dodge a shotgun bullet. Y'all, you know how fast a shotgun bullet is? <laughs> but somehow he was not quick enough to stab Tara. Like, what? What? <laughs> Sorry. So, also what does not make sense about her was, this was like towards the end of the movie, where um, she 
uh, she was like, you know, hanging from the top and, you know, Sam was holding her arm and then she asked Sam to let go. So she lets go and then Tara falls and exactly lands on the knife. Like the knife hits like right here. Like she literally falls exactly, you know, when the ghost is just holding the knife and she survives. She fell from that height exactly onto the knife, but she survives. And then she has time to kill Ghostface, and then she has time like to like walk around like, yo, she's so OP. Like, how how is she so immortal? Like, she literally can't die. Like, all the stuff that's happened to her, and her, her, they didn't really do her character any good either. Like, I, I like she was su such a hateable character. Like, I just can't stand her character at all. So, Sam was supposed to be the main, main character of the movie. You know, they wanted to make her look like, uh, since her father was, you know, Billy Loomis, I guess, from the first movie. So, they wanted to make her look like, you know, she is becoming like her father. She might, you know, kind of like, because uh, she killed, you know, the boyfriend in the last movie. So, she kind of wants a taste for killing. So, she probably wants to kill more. So, I think that was for, you know, most of the movie. That's what looked like it. But then, like I said, they ended up revealing more stuff towards the end so that's why i'm saying only the stuff that involved these this plot was the one that was interesting everything else that has nothing to do with with the stuff was just you know this you know didn't really you know make me care much and um the other characters i thought was just okay you know like chad like chad had his moment at the end i was like hell yeah you know like they gave him his moment but then um you know he uh, <laughs> Not, not that he died. I'm, I'm wondering how he didn't die. He was literally stabbed nonstop by two ghost faces in like the abdomen chest area. And then he was, you know, laid there. And then only after that whole reveal happened of who's the killer, why they kill and everything. And then uh, when they came out of that place, it was already bright because when they went to do, you know, that place it was dark so i'm assuming it was like a few hours how did he survive that many stab to the chest and the like the abdomen and he survived like how are all these people having superpowers in this movie where they <laughs> it all makes sense and then also his uh twin sister also uh gets stabbed in the subway and then uh like at that time she was like literally can't even get up like she was like i was like all right maybe she's in the hospital or something and then when all of them came out of that place she was literally just running walking fine like how how do you <laughs> also um my guy was in this movie um you know the actor who played prometheus so i was uh, curious to see what kind of role he had i thought he could be the killer but he was pretty much a useless character Cause I, I don't even know why he was in this movie. He, he had absolutely no purpose. I, I don't even know why the actor even agreed to be in the movie where he literally has no purpose. They could have, like, he apparently was the love interest for Sam, but Sam didn't want to tell anybody, I guess. But yeah, he was just there. That's it. That was his role, just being there. The only useful thing that he did was he, you know, kind of told them that, hey, Ghostface is in your house because he's like, uh, lives in the um, opposite apartment so he can look through their windows. Uh, yeah, that kind of sounds creepy now that I see it. <laughs> so he kind of took a photo and, you know, told them, like, hey, Ghostface is in your house because when he called them, he didn't an I, the others didn't answer. So that literally was the only useful thing that he did. Even that, even, you know, that, like, even if um, he didn't do that, I'm, I'm pretty sure they still would have known because, the, the you know, the person who was getting stabbed was just shouting, so I'm pretty sure... Uh, they still would have known, so I, I like his his arc was pretty much useless. So I don't know why they even got him in this movie. So yeah, like literally the like like I said, the only parts good about this movie is the ones that had the killer. Every other thing just did not make sense on how every character was literally superhuman and could survive amazing shits. You know, especially Tara, like literally could freaking backhand. <laughs> back elbow goes face in like you know like a second and even survive a stab wound even though she fell from a like a certain you know height and even sam too and sam character was like all right it's really uh like that's what her whole arc was basically to see whether um that's what that's what they intended to do to make it look like will she become like her dad and she also had a moment that did not make sense she fell from a certain distance and then she fell but somehow she didn't injure or broke any part of her body and then she had time to go you know 
you know, do some stuff uh, later on. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't know what, what to say. So, so yeah, if I'm talking just about the kills and stuff, I, I thought it was good. There were a lot of kills in this movie, so that was the only good part. So that's the only enjoyable part. Maybe, you know, you would like the other parts that I didn't really like about this movie. But I just, um, even, yeah, like... like <laughs> Even like how when um I, I forgot to say this earlier, like Sam was killing one of the ghost faces and um she was literally like, Hey, I'm a I know I'm a daughter of a serial killer, but you know, we're not all like that or something. She says something like that, but then proceeds to kill him anyway. So uh, like character wise, I, I I don't know, you know, they're okay, I guess, except for Tara. Like, I literally can't stand her character. And, you know, the, the twins, uh, you know, the sister, she literally was had kind of the same arc as the last movie where she was just like the, the movie pro, you know, she knew everything about horror movies and she was doing the same thing she did in the last movie, explaining what a requel is or prequel is, who's going to get targeted next. That was basically her same character in this movie. Uh, yeah, and of course, you know, they had to um, go... Uh, you know, kill off the, um, the, the, you know, the previous character, but I, I don't think she died, I think they mentioned something that she was still in the hospital or anything, but that's it, they didn't really say anything except for that, and, um, Sydney's, Sydney's character is not in this movie because apparently they, um, uh, said something how she was, she wanted to protect her family or something, so she didn't want to come here, so that, that was that, so I guess, like, uh, yeah, <laughs> so... So, yeah, I'm going to say this for, like, the fifth time. The only good thing about this movie is the killings. Uh, the killings was, you know, the killing stuff was, was great. So that was the only good stuff about this movie. Everything else, not not so much, uh, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. That, that was just me. So maybe you would enjoy the movie, uh, you know, in other ways. But, yeah, anyway, so that was it, uh, Scream 6. So if you enjoyed this, you know, review, then, you know, give this video a like, comment down below if you have seen it or, you know, whatever you think about it what i just said about this movie uh you know you know whatever so you know subscribe to the channel for more movie reviews like this so till next time everyone stay safe take care goodbye